So guys, in this, this video, I'm doing a tutorial how to set up OBS Studios. Um, I've got a few questions. Questions? A few people, you know, want me to do it. Oh, no, no, I can't talk. They want me to do it. So I'm here to do it. So, um, so in this video, I'm using Streamlabs OBS. What will be a video coming out for that? They're both good. Obviously, well, I'm not going to talk about it, but OBS Studios, it's the best one for low-end PCs or just for streaming. Stream as OBS is good if you want the chat as well and all your widgets, but OBS you have to add it yourself. But if we just want it for streaming on a low-end PC, this is easy to do on. So I'm guessing you've got it installed already. So after you've got it installed, go to the settings. It's gonna take a little while. If it's, it's bit, you know, I'm recording in really high quality of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do in general, at normal, I set from this part, or so you can put it to how you want. Um, so if the lag, you can put any any color you want. But for me, I just keep it default. But I will show you another video how to get um, extensions, like you know, with NDI and you know, that shit. So what you guys stream? Obviously, what platform? For me, I'll be streaming on YouTube. So, output. So this varies on your system. It depends. Like, this is the best one if you don't know what you're doing. But because you're watching this video, you will know. So go to advance. So I stream off a graphics card. But the first thing I'm going to show you what CPU settings. Actually no, the first thing we've got to do is go to video and put it to your quality. So that's what I use. 1080 by 1080. Then for CPU CPU streaming, for 1080 I would say 4500 perfectly good enough. This I would recommend it on fast, you don't want to go super that's a white. I'd go about I would stick it out very fast because any hit higher than that, it gets pixelated. Obviously, your ideal bit is fast, but you need a ma you need like a 9.9 for that really good one. And obviously lower and lower and lower. Like most Twitch streamers and that go on about medium fast or faster. But yeah, very fast is too good. And that page is all done. It's optional, but I always leave it normal. But I do recommend it high. High is so desktop people who are watching it on like a desktop or a PS4, it's better quality. But main is for mobile users, so I'd keep it too high. But for this video, I'm keeping it none. And for, uh, the videos, obviously yeah, your format. So for me, most of us is MP4. For CPU, we're going to go to X264. Bitrate for 1080p video, I would say 20,000. And um, that's the same, really, because you can just put that. So, if a film recording is, you can have it on that. Yeah, it's pixelated to fuck. But all you got to do is change that to like 60,000, and that'll be fine. Obviously, that would take more memory. But sorry, for guys. But it'll be better quality, so um, yeah. For the audio bit weight for YouTube, you can go anything, but I recommend going 120 because what a lot of people don't know, um, just say you have a 10 megabit download uh, upload speed, you stream at 9. The audio bit weight, just say I put 320, it needs 320 megabits that will make kilobytes, it's called to post out. So YouTube recommends 120, Twitch is 160. For recording, don't really matter, but I recommend 192. That's it for that. Now I'm going to show you on the graphics card. So I'm on AMD graphics card, so it might be different for um, the GTX 1080s and that. So for preset, Pandora streaming, for me is YouTube. Recommends in balance. This, whatever bitrate you want. 
Now that one's simply done for recording. We'll go to AMD. High quality recording. And it just does it for you. It picks the right bit rate. Or this if you want a certain bit rate. Uh, recording this out the same. Replay buffer is up to you, this means you can have replaces like if you get a Fortnite kill, you can replay it. Sample rate oh, 44.1 for streaming, recording 48. It really depends on your system. And obviously, these are all optional, so you can do that way that it's clicking and get out, but your desktop audio won't mic, so I can't help you with that. Video is up to you. Right. If you want to stream it in 720, you put it in but put this to 36. It's the best daily or downward scaling, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend it. So I'd go 1080, but I do have it as that. It makes it more sharper. Now this part, that'll be a normal when you get it. Put it to high. And that's about it. These are all optional. I recommend having the dramatic change bit rate. You need them for streaming, and you'll see that's unchecked. If you check it, you can have like a sub count or anything like that on the screen. So, yeah, that is done. I'm gonna quickly show you now. I'm gonna quickly add something, just add a bit of text or something. Just add high, just say change it. To say I want a bit of wet, and yeah, obviously you do that the right size you want it in that. So yeah, that is the setup tool for OBS Studios version 24.0.3. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.